right? So we took apart the door, we unhooked it at the two um, corners where the cable holds the door up. The spring counterbalances the weight. The door is actually quite heavy. It just dropped on me when we uh, disconnected everything. But that's the springs. You can see that black plastic um, bearing. It's only on one side. I put two precision bearings, one on each side, because um, you can. Um, a better install from an uh, installer would have a metal bearing on one side. Um, I'm using an upgraded bearing, a precision bearing on both. So they run a lot smoother. And uh, that's the broken spring and you'll break roughly around 15 years into your house ownership, 10,000 cycles. And so I have to do that pulley, and then I'll pull the springs out and add the new ones in. And the new springs are over here right now. And uh, I'll add in these precision bearings into the same spots there. So this is how you assemble the uh, torsion rod. You should take it off from the wall, and then assemble it on the ground and bring it back up, otherwise it becomes really crazy. I had to sand the entire rod, otherwise the bearings wouldn't go on because um, all the crap that built up over it um, from when it was new. So on the springs, we do spray a line. And the reason why is when you turn it, there's like, I think, 30 quarter turns. So it runs at roughly about seven turns. And the reason why it's seven turns is because the pulleys um, have to account for the total rise of the door. It's roughly about seven feet, right? So the pulleys roughly will turn, I think, one foot or maybe three quarter of a foot. Um, so that's why they tell you to do 30 turns. So 30 quarter turns is roughly 20 seven feet 28 turns, right? There's two more to make it a little bit taunt. So that's why they say to do that when you start to wind the springs. Um, but one interesting thing is, see the metal bearing I have there? The metal bearing I have there, typically they put one plastic bearing on one side or the other. A better install would use one metal bearing and not the other side. Well, I'm putting one in both sides. Uh, so there's two in total, which no one would normally do. But that's the way to do it in terms of a quality job. So we'll put it back up there and wind it up and see what happens. As you can see, that's the plastic bearing. It says Canada on it for some reason. And this is the precision bearing uh, that's ground with uh, raceways and metal. Never use this crap here. Always use something good like this. All right, as you can see, everything installed. Kick-ass bearings on both ends. As you can see, we've cranked and turned uh, the left-hand side spring. The right-hand uh, the right -hand side spring we haven't done yet. You see the white line? That's where we sprayed it with uh, white paint. There should be roughly seven coils here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven coils, and each of those turns roughly three-quarters of a foot. Seven-foot door, it should open it, and at the very top of the run, there, there should be uh, no, we should completely slack on, on those pulleys. So we'll see what happens. So I gotta finish this one here. You gotta shove uh, these rods into those holes and crank it 30 times, 30 uh, quarter turns, um, to have enough, uh, to have uh, the seven coils that you see there. So that's why we spray it with that white paint. Right. The other side is now cranked too, as you can see, seven turns. And uh, it's locked in place. So let's see if this works.